So today we'll be explaining about the parliamentary voting system and how it works. How does the voting system work in the UK? So we have three main voting systems in the UK. The main one being the first past the post, which we use to elect, what was it again? There are three main voting systems that we use in the UK. The main one being first past the post, which we use to elect our government. And let me tell you something, I'm learning a lot about this today. <laughs> so now I'm gonna tell you how first past the post works and explain to you with a pack of cards. So in a constituency, we have many parties, but mainly focusing today on the three parties and think of a constituency as a district or borough. Ugh. We have three main parties which are here. So we're going to have Tom, representing the Liberal Democrats, and we're gonna have Steve representing the Conservatives, and thirdly, we're going to have Rob representing the Labour MPs, which are potentially trying to get elected to be... <laughs> Brain has gone dead, fam. <laughs> uh, so for Tom, which is the Liberal Democrats, out of 10 votes, Tom has four. So we have one, two, three, four. And then we have Steve, which is representing the Conservative Party, which will receive, let's say, six votes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have Rob, which is representing the Labour Party, which got our overall seven votes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So overall, Unfortunately for the Liberal Democrats, they didn't win because they received four votes, so they're out. Steve was really close, but unfortunately didn't win, so they're out. Which means overall... <laughs> which means overall, Rob here has won his seat, which brings us to the next round. First of all, we have the Liberal Democrats. Second of all, the Conservative Party, and also the Labour Party. Cool. Was that good? So for the Liberal Democrats, they have four votes. One, two, three, four. Second of all, we have the Conservatives, which had six votes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then for Labour, they got the highest score, which was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So unfortunately for the Liberal Democrats, they are out. Second of all, we have the Conservatives, which are out. So overall, Labour has seven votes. So therefore, they have the majority and are elected government which gives them the power, yes! So, what does this all mean? Whether you like it or not, the decisions the government makes affects your everyday life. Share your comments, leave your tweets, and share the video, and leave your comments below. That was so <laughs> mellow-toned. <laughs> Kayana Rees, I am robotic. <laughs> leave your comments below, and let us know what topics you'd like us to explain with everyday things. Just in case you don't know. To ah, oh, cool. No, I just need to just just relax. Explaining with a pack of cards. I said explaining like twenty times. <laughs> yeah. Parties which have their own constituencies. Uh, no. 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 Uh -uh.